southwest largest of fada rice processing factory begins operation in Ibadan. The largest processing factor of Ofada rice in southwestern Nigeria, Brainfield Agro Limited, has commenced operations in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital. Currently, the firm's rice processing machine, which is the largest in the southwest, has a production capacity of 9,000 tons per annum. According to the company's chief operating officer, Abayomi Oladipo, the rice processing plant is committed to the creation of a niche for further rice production in Oyo State, Nigeria and overseas. He explained that the company with a current workforce of over 100 farmers plan to make the state one of the major rice producing states in the country. The company's COO made the explanation while playing host to the Commissioner for Agriculture in Oyo State, Honorable Oje Muyiwa Oje Kunle on Monday. The commissioner who was accompanied by staff members in his staff members of his ministry commended the initiative of the company's chairman, Mr. Olukayode Ajala, for deeming it fit to set up an agricultural industry in the state. He stressed that the state will give necessary support to ensure the smooth operation of the industry. Earlier in her address, the permanent secretary in the ministry, Alaja, Bolatumi Oloko encouraged the chairman and management of the firm to always consider youth and farmers of the host communities for employment. Absolutely. She also advised the management to bring the partnership proposal for the, to the Ministry for Necessary Actions and Considerations. In his remark, Oyo State Director, National Cereals Research Institute, Mr. Dambaba Nehimaya, said that it is one of the duties of the institute to give necessary support to any Nigerian who wants to invest in the rice sector. He maintained that the institute decided to give technical support to Brainfield Agro Limited because it is the only indigenous rice processing plant that is focusing 100% on Ofada rice production. This is fantastic news. Um, we need to see more of this across the whole country. Of father rice is actually like our type of rice. So of course, it's seen as um, would I say not not luxury, but it's more on the higher end sort of high quality kind of rice, and it's healthier as well. So again, if we can produce this, where we can make it a staple food, and it would literally stop importation of rice from other countries, which is doesn't make sense in the first place. But it is amazing because again, the employment rate in that area of Abadon will actually increase and then salaries will go up it will increase consumer expenditure these are the things that we want for our economy and this is something that should be you know for each state at least they can have their own sort of thing with the father rice this state can do chocolate or coffee this state might be into mining of you know minerals and honestly if you did like what do you call it they saw this in school in Nigeria. You'd actually like they for each state there is something there is for each state there's literally a mineral that can be refined and be mined. And in other states, of course, we have oil, in other states, agriculture. Like we have the potential to literally be one of the rich the richest country in Africa. Because again, we have again we have the resources, but then again, it's like when we talk about the resources and what we could be, it's always we always use the word potential. But then this is basically this act of actually opening a rice processing factory is unlocking that potential activating that potential and basically that's what we need that is what needs to be that's what needs to be done to be honest um uh okay cool so yeah i mean this is the best thing hopefully you know the laws in the states when it comes to you know trade and production will aid and encourage more people to go into this but this is fantastic and it should it should be repeated in each state and i guess this is something where you know at least the for the side of the government to work hand in hand in the in the success of the industry is to make the infrastructure better let's have efficient logistics and all that like we we need to have good roads constant electricity these are the things that are needed to keep businesses like this running so it's like it is such an amazing thing so so good it's something that it should have been done however we understand the country that we live in and of course we don't want a, a situation where um 
you know, it's it's worked against, you know. And I think it's something that the people of Ibadan, they should sort of have pride in, you know what I mean? So, like, if the government wants to, you know, do some sneaky things, at least we'll have the people that, who are connected to this to this amazing thing to just be like, you know what, we're going to protest and be like, you know what, your laws, whatever, if you try to do anyhow, you will see anyhow. That's how it should work. Um. So, yeah, let's go to the comments here, say. Someone said, let's celebrate it. When rice is released in the market, I pray it is not political hype. Best rice in the world. Someone said, I pray they will not send buyers away with high costs. Local content are usually expensive than imported goods. We should not be. Absolutely. The producer should please allow us to patronize them and not make us re to return to imported rice. Absolutely. Why would you increase your... I mean, obviously, we have costs and we businesses, we understand that. Okay, fine. We your cost. You can't... There's a certain price you have to have. Um, but it doesn't make sense. Why should domestic goods be more expensive than imported goods? That is why we are always in a deficit. <laughs> like, why? We can't... Do... It does not make sense. Um, someone says, I pray for the sustainability of the company. Absolutely. However, we also got to take into account that things can go wrong. The likelihood of things going wrong for this business is absolutely very high because infrastructure is not where it is meant to be in terms of how efficient it is, in terms of, you know, logistics and electricity. That, honestly, that is literally what we need to, for, for businesses like this to, tr to thrive. Because again, if you look, I, 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 a, if you really want to learn the hard life of being an entrepreneur, just come to Nigeria. Like, you... Being an entrepreneur is hard. Like, not everyone is cut out for it. But being an entrepreneur in Nigeria, that is literally, like, is more intense than military training, to be honest. Because it's the hardship, the things you'd have to go through, the initiative, the plan B, C's, D's, E's, F, to Z, even unknown letters. It is very, very hard. Um, so, says the plant... Um, the plant is not the largest in Southwest. The largest plant is in Lagos State. Where is it? Right. Um, someone says, um, or do I, here we come to restore past glory, thumbs up. All these are happening in the north with maize and rice, but they started to push their cattle down mm -hmm. south to destroy our crops. This discouraged us from farming and rendered us lazy. There's no excuse. Um, sorry, but so what? If there's anything, it's absolutely the responsibility of the government to make things like this accessible to the citizens everywhere, give out subsidies do a lot of things, not like, it doesn't make sense, um, so yeah, that's it, put what you think about this in the comment section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.